My name is Horacio Carabelli. I'm uh, working as a design coordinator for, for Luna Rosa in this uh, 37th America's Cup. Our design team is based on around 14 departments. Each of them has their own uh, head of department and around between two and five uh, members that works in each department. Working individually in the different areas of the design, call it uh, naval architecture, call it structural engineering, VPP, performance, mechatronic simulation. Well, basically, I mean, our starting point, as always in the America's Cup, is the, is the rule that they are the lines that define uh, the playing field, no? where what you can do and what you are allowed to produce in order to develop your racing boat. In this case, you can design your own prototype that is called the LEQ12, that is a length equivalent smaller than 12 meters. So this uh, boat has to be below 12 meters of length overall. This, uh, call it LEQ12, it's uh, basically the most important tool that we have. It's the only tool that uh, the rule allows you to have and in that you must be able to, to change your systems and really uh, play with what you have. You know? So and it's important for you to, to design your own boat because in this sense you can have control of what you're doing. So we don't start it with a plain white sheet of paper because your basics are, are the rule itself. And we also have in the background all the, the last America's Cup where we learned a lot of things and we wanted to implement in this prototype as well. So the starting point is, is as I said before, is the rule and where you get together with your group and you define the basic uh, lines. You know, the, which is the scale? You know, which are you looking for? You know, which are the size of the appendages? Which is the length of the rudder? Uh, which is the size of the sail area, which is going to be the displacement of this boat. Once you have that in hand, uh, you, you basically run your, your load cases. Be sure that you can, you can build, uh, which is the weight of all these components, no? uh, that you can build it the way that you have designed it. You introduce the first systems that you want to, to test. And from there, you, you take it to the simula simulator side where uh, we have a pretty strong team in the simulator, simulation side. Um, this you can, you have all the physics inside this uh, simulator. You can also, I mean, uh, sail it uh, with your proper sailors on it. And from this point, you can really be sure that your, your scaling, your, your decisions, your sizes that you have taken before are, are feasible. This is more or less the, the, the first uh, initial stages of the of the design. Once you get into a let's say a third phase of design, you can start talking about production. And when it comes into production, obviously, you want to also use this platform as your your testing uh, platform as well. Now you have new materials, you have your your people that's going to be working and producing this complex uh, composite part and you have new techniques of production as well and, uh, and in this sense comes this loop between the structural engineering, uh, the 3D drafting and modeling where all the systems and parts come together in a, in a virtual 3D model. The structural part is a very important uh, part of the uh, department no, of, this, of this kind of boat. You know, the AC-75s are, are very light boats where they, they have a fair amount of loads you know, in some areas and the rule is pretty on the limit in that sense. So you, you need to have a boat that meets the rule limit, so you have a displacement limit and, and to achieve this is not, it's not an easy task. You know? So the loops in terms of engineering are, are quite big and uh, you must be pretty strong in the FEA, so finite element analysis of all these structures. They are complex structures that they have to interact each other, I mean the rig, the sails. At the same time, uh, when you are going into the simulation side, you need to have a good aerodynamic package, no? and, they, and here it comes the sail designers. No? So sail designers also have their own uh, structural department where all the sails have to, to deform and have the right shape when they are flying under loads. So this uh, also, the, the, you run a full CFD of all these aero 
package where you create your aero models, which together with the appendage models and the naval architecture comes together into the simulator, proving what is going to be your final product now. And uh, as we all know, I mean, the, the AC-75 and this class of boats, they're foiling boats. The, the foils are probably also one of the most important um, components of the, of the whole package. We have a pretty strong group in there working on the different appendages, foil sections, and also on the structural side. And the interaction with the sailors, it's, it's very, very important no? as, a, as a backing information from what is real life virtual life and then come together with a with a better product that will be at our our only AC75 that we are allowed to to build 